Hello good people and happy Halloween. This is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to speed up downloads on your PS4. So to speed up downloads on your PS4 you'll need to use a proxy server and I know a lot of my viewers aren't quite into networking like I am so I won't go too in depth about proxy servers but I do want to give a very simple explanation of why using a proxy server makes your downloads faster because I think it's important to understand why this works if you're going to do it. And I have an awesome graphic here to help me out from Mr. Rydell over on Reddit. I did tweak this a little bit but it's mostly his work so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to him. Now, a PS4 can only download a certain number of packets or parts of your game at a time. I'm not sure what the real numbers are, but let's say this limit is 10 packets every 10 seconds. Now, the download server itself is much faster than your PS4 and is capable of sending 50 packets every 10 seconds. But the download server is also pretty busy, so it makes your PS4 wait in line before it starts sending it packets. Now, a different device, like a proxy server, is capable of downloading whatever the download server can give it. So if the download server can give 50, it can take 50. If the download server can give 80, it can give 80. It basically says to the download server, hey, give me everything you got, because I can take it. The proxy server still has to wait in line, but it can handle more packets at a time, so the download is going to finish quicker. Now, because the proxy server isn't as busy as the download server, your PS4 doesn't have to wait in any line and can take packets a lot quicker. So using a proxy server works to speed up your downloads not because more information is downloaded at one point in time, it's because your PS4 doesn't have to wait as long for asking for the next set of information. So now that you know how it works, let me show you how to do it. First we're going to start out on our PS4 and the first thing we need to do is to go to our network settings and get our PS4's IP address. Then we're going to hop over to our Mac and download a program called Squidman, which I'll have a link to in the description below. And I already have it installed, so if I go ahead and open it, you'll see there isn't too much of an interface, but the only thing we need to do here is to go into the Preferences and over to the Clients tab, and here we need to put in a new entry for our PS4's IP address, and then we can click Start Squid and allow the connection. Then we'll need to go into our network settings on our Mac and get our IP address there. Now it's important to note how you're connected because it's possible your Wi-Fi connection has a different IP address than maybe your Ethernet connection. So pick which IP address is ever listed first. Now back over on our PS4, we need to tell our PS4 the IP address of our proxy server which is our Mac. So if we head into the setup internet connection settings, we want everything to be automatic except for the proxy settings. And here we want to enter the IP address of our Mac. And after, if we test the settings, everything should check out and that's all there is to it. So the next time we go to download something, it will be finished much faster. But that is going to wrap up the tutorial that I have for you guys today. If you get stuck on any step, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. But if you found this video useful or helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or maybe the PC version of this tutorial, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.